Okay, good morning, my friends. I am hopping in today to talk a little bit about something that has been on my heart and my mind over the last couple of weeks and a little bit about happiness. And so I commented yesterday asking what your top three signs were, your rising, your sun, and your moon. Um, and I asked what brings happiness into your life. What traits in your life do you feel bring happiness to you? And so I wanted to dive a little bit deeper about these traits that bring happiness into your lives and your life specifically, and what you can do in order to access the, the light aspects within your natal chart that allow you to step into happiness. And so let me go ahead and share who I am. If you are new to my circle, to this group, to me, my name is Aubrey and I am a certified light field astrologer. I am, a, I am the owner of Celestial Healing and I help my clients overcome fear, doubt, find their voice as they are stepping past their toxic relationships, stepping into their truth and stepping into the trust that is so celestially and divinely yours. Okay. And so I help my clients find and trust their authentic self. And their authentic self also includes happiness. Your authentic self also includes happiness. And so let me jump into why I am talking about happiness with astrology and what you can do in order to understand your happiness in your natal chart and in within your life. Um, this brought up like, so back in 2011, there was a documentary that I watched that was called happy. And in this documentary, it talked about how there has been thousands of studies done on what causes depression, what causes anxiety, what causes fear. So there's been thousands of studies done on what causes all of those, those negative aspects or negative low vibrational energies within your life. And there's not actually been a lot of studies done on what causes happiness. And so in this documentary, what was done was it was following a study done on all of the happiest people, happiest communities within the world, and what traits that they had in common that brought happiness into their life. These traits were things like accomplishments, kindness, physical health, their personal growth, their resilience, the meaningful work that they did in life, the positive relationships that they have in life, their optimism, and mostly it's their authenticity, the, their ability to live an authentic life as themselves. And when I was thinking about this documentary that I watched back in 2011, and I realized that with astrology, similarly, a lot of, and I, I'm guilty of falling, falling into this dynamic that I'm about to share with you, a lot of astrologers look at the pain points in the natal chart, such as Pluto, um, which is the death and rebirth, the powerful transformational aspects within a person's chart. They tend to look at Saturn, which is the pain point in your chart where you have the most struggles within your life. Um, astrologers, including myself, you know, look at Chiron, which is your soul wound, and your soul wound can lead to your wound wounded healer. However, it is your soul wound, which is a pain point. And I am guilty of looking at all three of those areas. I love to help my clients through coming to understand their Plutonian transits and how Pluto rests in their chart. I myself have a Pluto chart, meaning my moon, which is my top three, is con which is one of my top three, is conjunct Pluto. And so my moon and Pluto have that like four or five degree conjunction, which gives me a Plutonian lifestyle where there's a lot of death and rebirth, emotional deaths and emotional rebirths within my life. And that is um, why I am confident in my ability to help my clients transform themselves. Um, however, I tended to focus on the pain points such as Pluto, Saturn. I have uh, the gift of being able to see 
astrology in the chakra system and I tended to focus and I still do on Saturn within the chakra system. Saturn doesn't have its own chakra. It flows through the chakra system. And that excited me when I realized that Saturn has its own flow and it creates its own lessons within your life, depending on the year that you are alive, how old you are, things along those lines. And Chiron, which is the soul wound. And so those tended to be the three areas that I jumped into in someone's natal chart in order to help them transform their life and step past their pain points in their lives. So what I'm getting to here is recently I was asking God how I can best serve you within this group. How can I give you guys what it is you need, what God would love for you to have? As a certified light field astrologer, um, I see light aspects within a chart and shadow aspects. Each sign has light and shadow in it. Each planet has light and shadow energy. And astrology is not fate. It compels and you get to choose which direction you are taking yourself within your life. You get to choose if you want to step into those light aspects or you can choose to step into those shadow aspects. Every single sign within your chart, all 12 signs, you have that energy in your life. And so let's say you are a Gemini, but we are currently in the Aquarius season and you have no planets in your natal chart in the Aquarius sign. That does not mean you do not have any Aquarius energy. It just means that you get to access that Aquarius energy a little bit different than somebody who does have an Aquarius sun um, and vice versa versa. So if you're an Aquarius, but you want to access your Gemini energy, but you don't have any planets in Gemini, there you have your own unique way of accessing that Gemini energy. Okay, so where I'm going from here is I was asking God how I can best serve you, how I can bring, uh, bring fruit to this group and best help you for for moving forward. And God told me that I have been focusing on all the pain points in people's charts. And that is so true. I've been focusing on your Pluto, your Saturn, your Saturn return, your Chiron, your soul wound, that which hurts you. And then God says, I want you to focus on not the pain points, but the light aspects, the love in someone's chart. And by that, what God meant um, what source meant, what spirit meant was not, let me look at your Venus and see how your love life is going to look. It was more, let me look at your chart and see the happiness that you can potentially step into. Um, when you choose to look at the happiness within your chart, you're choosing to step into that energy and to more fully embody that aspect of you in your life, which is unique to you. So these traits of gratitude and optimism and having positive relationships with other people and stepping into your personal growth and having your own physical health and well-being are unique to you. Not everybody, not everybody's physical health will look the same and not everybody requires the same energy to step into meaningful work. Not everybody deems the same work as meaningful um, one man's trash is another man's treasure is a phrase that I was just thinking about. So what you may um, deem meaningful, somebody else won't. But learning about yourself and what you deem meaningful, stepping into your authentic, positive relationship, stepping into your authentic voice, not only will bring happiness into your life, it will, however, transform your career, transform your relationships with those you are around, transform your business, transform your, if you're an entrepreneur, learning to speak your authentic truth and utilize your authentic voice, which is my story. I, my story essentially is one where I, 
I stepped out of toxic. I had a a lot of toxic childhood experiences. I stepped out of a toxic religion, um, not the religion itself. There were toxic neighbors, essentially, within my religion um, that I had to step away from. I stepped out of toxic friendships. I stepped out of a toxic relationship. I stepped out of a toxic career. I stepped out of toxic in my life. And after I stepped out of all of that toxic, I realized I didn't know what my voice was. And this came into um, clarity when I started this business, when I started my entrepreneurial ship, when I was cleaning houses, before I even became a life coach. I learned that I didn't now know how to express my authentic truth. And when I didn't learn how to express my authentic truth because I was lost in the toxic still, I still had these belief systems that were created in my childhood, these belief systems that were created in this toxic career, this toxic job that I had just stepped out of. I realized I needed to shift those belief systems and implement something positive and beautiful and find my authentic voice in order to move forward as an entrepreneur. And so with letting go of those toxic beliefs, letting go of those toxic emotions, I found my voice. And in finding my voice, I was able to speak my truth. And in speaking my truth, I was able to find gratitude, which is a point of, um, with which is a point that we can actually see in your natal chart. I was able to find optimism, which is unique to you. You are optimistic uniquely your own way, and we can actually see that in your natal chart. I was able to find meaningful work, which is what is meaningful to me, how I help others, how I serve others, how I act in my entrepreneurial ship. I was able to find my voice and speak my truth with authenticity. And all of these traits all of these traits we can find within your natal chart. And when we find those, we can focus on the beautiful aspects of these traits within our lives, within your life. And so what I am doing here in this group, it's actually going to be on, um, on my YouTube. So what I'm doing with YouTube is I'm going to be sharing what where, how you can find these traits in your life, how you can find optimism in your natal chart, how you can find resilience in your natal chart, how you can find that personal growth in your natal chart. And I will be doing a weekly YouTube video, sharing it here, talking about it here, discussing it here with you in order to help you find your authentic truth as you are walking away from the toxic life that you may have lived. And as you step into your authentic self that you are currently living. Okay, so that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let you guys know I will be starting this in the next couple of days. Keep an eye out for that video. Keep an eye out on YouTube. If you have not followed me on YouTube, I would love to have your following on YouTube and to be able to see you there. Um, you'll be able to access the video before I post it into this group. However, it will be posted into this group as well. And we will be talking about it here. That is how I am going to be able to serve you guys more. And it feels very divinely guided. And I am so grateful to be able to do this to help you find your happy in your natal chart. Thank you so much for watching. And I, I will see you. I'll see y'all soon.